Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the Levi's wedgie jean. Um, I love Levi's jeans. If you guys have watched my videos before, then you'll have seen some of the other Levi's videos I've done. Um, I did like a 501 and wedgie comparison, and then I also did like a 501 comparison between um, all the different 501 styles. So if you want to go and check those out, if you're interested in the 501s or how the wedgie compares to the 501, I'll have my other videos linked down in the description box below. But today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Levi's wedgie fit jean. Um, this one, I think, is probably my favorite style from Levi's, uh, even more than the 501s, which I absolutely love. But I think I like the wedgie fit jeans just a little bit more than the 501s. So these ones that I have here are the wedgie fit, and this is um, the wedgie straight. So the wedgie fit jean is supposed to be like the most flattering style that Levi's carries. They're supposed to be really flattering because of the pocket placement. So if you can see, like, they're placed kind of widely apart, so, you know, there's not much space in between, like, the side seam here and then the pocket on the sides and then they're placed a little higher as well so they're supposed to like kind of like separate and lift um, and I think it really does that and I think um, yeah these are super super flattering the wedgie fit jean retails for $98 and I got these ones for $30 so I don't ever recommend buying Levi's at full price because they always have sales and deals and coupons going on so if you're gonna buy some Levi's you know definitely Google Levi's coupon or just wait until they have a sale um, because you can really get these for um, pretty inexpensive so yeah $98 they come in a variety of different uh, like washes as well as like different I guess finishes so they have some that are like raw hem these ones are not I do have another pair that are raw hem um, and then some of them have distressing on them but the ones that I have here do not have any sort of distressing on them they just have some like um, you know like whiskers here and the slight fading but no actual like distresses or rips um, so they come in a lot of different sizes. I think some of them come in 23 all the way up to like 30 or 31, I believe. And they also come in a, in a variety of different materials. So the ones that I have here are 99% cotton and 1% elastic. I do have another pair that is 100% cotton and they do fit a little bit differently. I personally like both of them. I don't really prefer one over the other. They do both feel very, very durable and super thick and just really good quality. So I don't, it doesn't really, um, matter to me that this pair has like 1% elastane in it. The wedgie fit jean also comes in several different inseams. So both of the pairs that I have um, are 26 inch inseam and I find that the 26 inch inseam is, is perfect like right out of the box when I buy them. I don't have to take them to the tailor or anything. Uh, for reference, I am 5'2 and with a 26 inch inseam it hits like right above my ankle. Um, so yeah, super perfect. The wedgie does also come in a couple of different styles. So like I said, the ones that I have here are the wedgie straight. Uh, they also do come in a skinny version, and I think those are the only two that they come in, straight and skinny. For the straight leg, they're pretty straight all the way down like the name suggests, and I think they're the straight leg is, you know, just really good for uh, boots, for flat. I really love the straight ones. I don't have any of the wedgie skinnies, but I love the wedgie straights because they work really well for spring, fall, summer, and winter, pretty much like all year round. Where they hit on the ankle, it looks really, really good with some ankle boots, and then in the spring, summer, I love to wear these with like flats or sandals. They're just really flattering either way and you know I'm not that tall like I said I'm only 5'2 but the wedgie fit jeans are really really flattering when they're on. Now in terms of the fit I feel like as it is with like all other Levi's jeans it really depends on the jean itself. So I'm normally a size 24 but in this particular pair of jeans I picked up a size 25. In my wedgie jeans that are 100% cotton I got those in a size 24 so um, yeah, I just think it really varies which kind of sucks because you do have to order like a couple of sizes to try them on and see which fits best But the sizing does vary a little bit if you get a pair in your normal size They will fit very very tight when you first get them um, But then they tend to like loosen up a little bit as you wear them even the ones that are not hundred percent cotton 
Um, but if you want like kind of a slouchier fit, a little bit more relaxed, then I would say definitely size up one size. So um, this pair that I have here, the 100% cotton pair, I did get these in a size 24 um, just because they were like 100% cotton and um, I read online that these would kind of like loosen up and mold to your body um, as you wear them. And I've definitely found that this pair has loosened up quite significantly. Um, so I really, really like the way these fit now. The pair that I have here is a raw hem at the bottom. So for this pair, the 99% cotton, 1% elastane, I did get these in a 25 because the stretch in it, I feel like makes it cling to me a little bit more. So it's, you know, a little bit more fitted looking. And I didn't like how tight the size 24s looked. So the 25s are a little bit more relaxed and they're just not as like fitted. So I kind of like that look, especially for straight jeans. Yeah, so then I picked these up in a size 25. I haven't worn these that much, so I really don't know how these will wear over time, if they'll get super loose or if they'll kind of retain their shape. But from my previous experience with Levi's jeans, um, I feel like they retain their shape pretty well. In terms of the wedgie jean compared to the 501, um, just like very, very quickly, I think the main difference is that the 501 is a lot more relaxed um, and looks a lot more like mom jean-esque. I think the wedgie jean is like the slimmer of slightly like better fitting version of the 501. So if you like the 501, but you feel like it's just a little bit too baggy for your taste, um, I would definitely suggest checking out the wedgie jean because yeah, this is definitely like the um, more fitted alternative to the 501. The other thing that I really like about the wedgie jeans is that they are high rise. And I think that's part of the reason why they're so flattering because um, they are high rise and they have the button fly, which helps to you know, keep your stomach sucked in. I really like that about these jeans. Um, yeah, so the high waist coupled with the button down fly um, and the pocket placement on the back, I think these really are super, super flattering. So yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts on the Levi's wedgie jean. Um, like I said, I absolutely love the wedgie fit style. They're just really, really great and I just don't feel like you can go wrong with them. And you know, they're if you try them out and you don't like them, they always sell really well on the resale market. So you can always resell your pair if you don't like them. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe. I post videos every single week about fashion, life, luxury. So if you are interested in any of that, definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Um, I will link the jeans that I mentioned in today's video down in the description box below along with the other Levi's videos that I did. I will also link my blog and my Instagram. I post like daily outfits on Instagram. So if you need some outfit inspiration, definitely go and check out my Instagram. All right, guys. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.